us and it's first day of half term. Very excited except that it's absolutely tricky at home. Yeah. But that is not a problem for us because we are not going out today. We are stopping in because we have friends coming up which is super, super good planning for the simple fact obviously that little boys have not been very well. So, you know, up here for thinking. Seth will probably feel a bit better. Yeah, I know, Seth does feel a bit better. I've also just had Sainsbury's delivered. Yay! So I thought you might want to see what my half term essentials are to survive in the house with the kids. I'm just going to unpack it and then I'll show you. Right, so my Sainsbury shop was quite a bit more expensive than anything that I spend at Aldi normally. It was £96. That was with £4 delivery charge, 40p for bags. Um, and I had two substitutions. I had one of the dog treats substituted and a cereal substituted. So £96 to survive half term. I'll start over here. I brought some handcrafted mature cheddar and tomato flatbreads. So I've got two of those there for today for the lunch for the children just because they go down so, so well. Croissants, some wholemeal bread, eight chocolate brioche rolls, eight tortilla wraps, the um, part bake brown baguettes and some thin six plain bagels. All the bread about all the bread then I got a gammon joint for in the week and some mints which I'll do a chili with got the dog donuts which is a little treat some dentist sticks this is what they substituted though I ordered chicken apparently they didn't have any so they sent beef garlic bread pizza jam basic jam is the best because it's got the least amount of nastiness in it as in additives and um, it's got less sugar than normal as well always go basic it's normally always better than the bigger brands red grapes and green grapes and some popcorn because the kids love a popcorn coleslaw because I'm just trying to have more salads although I know coleslaw Although that's orange and green, so it's not that bad for you. I just, I like that. That's nice. Gingerbread men, not for the diet. Tomatoes, because my kids, well, Grace and the little boys will nibble on those all day. Reuben doesn't really. Some salad, sweet leaf salad. Moroccan couscous, which is amazing. Brown rice, chili con carne for this week. Creamy tomato bake, I'll say it again, this is the best pasta bake I have ever had some stuffing selection of different soups because they were on offer some potato salt and vinegar twirls as they're for today as well and some smooth orange juice because you can never have enough juice in the holidays you think you've got enough but you have not got enough um, mango and orange squash and summer fruit squash again you can never have enough hey Chicka bomb Mind out my way. Then I got a big basics cheese. Again, basics is so much better than cathedral, in my opinion. Not everybody's going to agree. This was my substitute. I ordered Sainsbury's own chocolate pillows, but um, they sent me Crave. Alpha Bites, those I did order. Mm. Be back the way, my nip buddy. Mm. Are you helping? Mm. <laughs> no, not really. Some roast chicken mm. drumsticks and some mm. dunkers because they are on offer and the dunkers are just a live send for a quick snack. Some strawberries, a cucumber. This is for me so I can have it with my granola well i suppose you can have some yeah. pepperonis because they're a great snack as well yeah, oranges because i think seth eats his weight in orange every day you yeah. like oranges don't you i love them. you like oranges do you like oranges law pack i went to nor pack from aldi which does taste the same but this was on offer and i do really like law pack this was six pound though which is ridiculously expensive mm -hmm. butter yeah. Some parsnips, potatoes, I got apple pies and some biscuits, pepperonis. I also got some strawberry and banana milkshake because the kids like that. Sweet corn, frozen sausages just to have in the freezer for just in case dinners because uh, they just come in handy. Grace doesn't eat sausages though so it's only ready for the boys. And some Yorkshire puddings, although how good was my Yorkshire pudding that I made yesterday Grace? Was it better than the frozen ones? Yeah. So, say home 
homegrown, homegrown, homemade is better. Did I show you this as well? The garlic heat spread. Yes, I think I did. And I also got some fairy. This was on offer, and I got the fairy capsules. Why are you tapping at me? So I love the smell of fairy. I've not smelled this one though. Oh, now that's what washing smells like. Yes, you can have a biscuit. So this is half term where they continuously ask for food non-stop. I could do them a massive bowl of breakfast now and they'll finish it and then they'll go in one room, come back in and they'll go, I'm hungry, can I have a biscuit? I'm hungry, can I have an apple? I'm hungry, can I have this? I'm hungry, can I have that? And that's what they will continuously do for the entirety of the week. But we're out tomorrow so they can't do that but then they'll just beg for food from the place that we're going to which is a very exciting place so make sure you tune in tomorrow as well to see what we've got planned today i'm hoping to do some science experiments i'm not a scientist but we'll see we'll see it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun right our friends are here now and decided to do some scientific experiments we just did one and i didn't video it but it went really really well so i'm hoping this one will as well go on then elijah show us what you gotta do do it all in one go fast Wow. wow. Right then, swap place just a sec and let him do the blue it's one. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Looks like a slushy or something. I know. Who's going to eat it then? Yeah. Right, go on then, Seth. You've got to put it all in in one go. In Ooh, there. Really fast. Really fast. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Is that good? Why oh, the yellow one was the best one. Say so what now? Yeah. Why the best one? Yeah, I think the yellow one was definitely the best. Yeah. I wonder My what, one is the big one. I wonder what was different about the yellow one than any of the other colours though? Mm. See, because you did it, Elijah. Mm. Yeah. Right, now we're doing a rainbow experiment. So the theory is we're going to make a rainbow of colours. Yeah. I think that's enough. Is this green enough? Yeah. Yeah, that's defo green enough. <laughs> Reuben, do you want to put some tissue in one? Can I? No. Yeah, so we need to make like a circle. Yeah, hold on a minute. Can I put in pink? So. And then we need another clear cup there. <laughs> I want to do pink. Flex me and Grace no, no, have done anything yet. Wait, there's nothing really to do. I want to do this thing. No, I want to do this thing. Wait, like that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Leave it like that. Just leave it now. That's it. That. Right, so this is what it looks like now. So in theory, we're going to make rainbow water in all of these. I think. Hmm? Do you think it will work? No. Yeah. yeah. None of you have faith. I saw it on Facebook, it must, you have faith, don't you, Lex? I saw it on Facebook, so it must work. Right, let's leave it for a little bit now then. They've now moved on to face painting. What are you making second to? Penguin. <laughs> What's Elijah? Uh, tiger. So far. What's Lexi going to be? A bunny. A bunny, a bunny. very cool. Why is it taking a photo? I don't know. Our friends have gone now. I'm just tidying up the few little bits that we got out, like our experiment. Do you want to see our science experiment? It went okay, I think. What do you think, Ruben? Ta da! So, you can see, obviously, that that green has gone into that, which the blue went into that, and that's changing to like almost like a yellow. Don't touch too much, buddy. And then, if we turn it, then obviously the blue's gone into that and the yellow is going in as well and it's going a little bit green. It's still going though. And then we've got doo -doo, obviously the yellow and that's a little bit orangey because of the yellow and the pink and then the pink. I think we made the pink too dark because that's just gone pink and the green hasn't gone all the way down on that one. 
It's cool though, isn't it? Because considering this cup had no water in it at all. Did they, Ruben? So these ones had no water, so the water's transferred over. It's cool, isn't it? I don't know what I mean. So this cup, yeah, had no water in it at all. So the tissue was sucked all the water out of this cup and this cup and put an equal amount into that one. What? But, do you get it? So you've evened all of the cups of water out. Is it a really cool experiment? Yeah, well, I don't think he's as impressed as I am. <laughs> I'm just tidying up now. So. Grace is helping, aren't you, by tidying up as well? I think Grace's on a bit of a sugar high. You had a few too many gingerbread men, didn't you? <laughs> so, although I did quite a bit of food actually, I thought at one point that it wasn't all going to go, but it's all gone. So, that's always a bonus. Always a bonus when all the food gets it. Right. Uh, I am just going to edit the vlog now and then carry on doing a bit of housework. I feel quite positive about the house stuff, I feel like I've tidied it quite well. I just need to sort some clothes out and just try and keep on top of it feeling tidy the face painting went okay they're all still a little bit face painted Seth have you still got a bit of face paint on let's have a look Ah, uh, and Elijah is a bit smudged because he's been asleep but you were a tiger wasn't you Elijah had a little afternoon nap because he was tired I think he's still feeling a little bit under the weather but they all had fun it was good. What was your favourite science experiment, Grace? The volcano. It's cool. We could do that again. I need to get some more bicarb though. Yeah, I've got to admit, I didn't expect the science exp the um, bicarb one, the volcano, to go quite as well as it did. So it was quite like, whoa! That exploded quite a lot. <laughs> it's cool though. It's good. I like doing things with the kids. Oh, I thought I've got the dog's tail then. I like keeping them entertained rather than just not doing anything with them. So, oh, it's a bit late now. I'm in my cosies because, you know, I've just done Adam his dinner. Uh, we had ours because he's only just got back. I must say it looks quite good. How's it look? It's good, thank you. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So he's going to have his dinner. I had the same, um, but I just forgot to video. <laughs> Because you know, <laughs> yeah, I was um, upstairs with Seth. Seth's gone to sleep because he's still, he's still feeling a little bit under the weather, so he's gone to sleep. Bless him. These two are getting ridiculously excited over Minecraft stuff. I'm not sure what. What's my furniture? I bet I'm not get to answer this again. Furniture, what the furniture model? F U R. Yeah. N I. Yeah. You are. N I. Yeah. You are. T U. There it's coming. Ow. Search. There you go. Furniture, here it is. So I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not playing Minecraft anymore. You're not. You're right, Elijah. One. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah's watching Jack. How is Elijah watching Jack? Disney on. Oh, Disney Life. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go. It's a good old Disney Life app that we've got that I had no idea played Mom, in the playroom. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, I've that. got the entire Ant Man Mob Super Creeper Mod. I know oh, what the other mobs are. Mario oh, Mod. Um, oh, really I actually really don't understand the words that are coming out of his mouth, do you? I really just don't get it at all. Madness. I don't know what you say, that stuff. <laughs> Right, all the tiddlies are up in going to bed. Up in going to bed. Does that even make sense? No. I don't think it does either. We're going to settle down now as well because we had a bit of a disturbed sleep last night with Seth. He wasn't really settling very well, was he? And Adam, Adam was getting really agitated when we went to bed last night. He was like, I can hear him breathing. <laughs> he was getting really annoyed. And yeah, then he lay there. He <laughs> but then he lay there. He was like, Oh, all the noises because he could hear the dogs downstairs snoring as well. It was bad, I couldn't settle. <laughs> Not licking herself, but she doesn't lick herself quietly. No, she's up. Like, 
and she mm. has to do it in the middle of the night, doesn't she, as well? This was only about half nine, ten last night, but it was funny because I kept nodding off, and then Adam would go, Oh, for God's sake, it's wake me. Up. I don't normally get restless, though. That's you the don't, first actually. time I've ever been restless in bed. Yeah. Just couldn't settle. <laughs> he did it really well. <laughs> he was just like, Oh, oh the noises. I was like, What the hell? And some earplugs. <laughs> And he was like, I can hear him breathing. I was like, wow, that's what they do. <laughs> Did make me laugh. But yeah, so we're going to get an early night tonight because you'd have the long day at work, haven't you? You're up early tomorrow. Uh, no. Normal. Well, normal early time, office time. Okay then. So thank you ever so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed our science experiments and our Sainsbury's haul. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.